Hello Leo, I'm G1 Lighter with G1 Insights and today it is your life and love energy focus for the month of June 2019. I'm a little late with some of these videos so I do apologize to a lot of you um, and I'm just going to get right into it. I don't want to talk too much. So Leo, it looks like for you this is a season where it's a lot of reflective energy happening where... Um, this may be a period in your life where you may want to mend something or work out something that was once either broken or separated or perhaps there was a lot of tension between you and someone else, okay? Maybe you, um, don't quite realize, um... Maybe you don't quite realize the effects that you have been having on others because you've been so caught up going through your own pain or whatever it is that you have been dealing with. So I, I don't feel like it's intentional of why you and this person or um, it could be either be a family member like a sibling or um, your parents perhaps. This could even be your child, okay? But I feel like a lot of you are feeling like this disconnect. Okay, and not, I mean, I feel like, and I feel like you just don't want it to be like that way anymore. Like, when I was shuffling my cards, I wasn't really sure if I was going to do water signs first or what, right? So, and I just kept hearing Harmony, and I kept hearing Leo, and I was like, okay, Leo, Harmony, what's going on with that, right? And so, as I kept shuffling the cards, I'm like, okay, cool, show me Leo, you know, the Leo man, the Leo woman, you know, what, what's going on? What is this harmony thing about? Like, I just kept hearing harmony, harmony. Like, as I was shuffling, that's all I kept saying was, thank you for the harmony. Thank you for the harmony. And when your cards came out, it all made sense, right? So I was like, okay, cool. You have some cards here in reverse that lets me know that there's either someone really, really close to you that there's a disconnect from, or perhaps there was and still is some type of separation of some sort that is, has been really, really taking a toll on you. And I feel like a lot of you have been trying your best to kind of hold on to it and kind of hold it together. You've been trying your best to pray about it and, you know, work it off and not really think about it too much. But a lot of you have really been having this pain on your mind. And for a lot of you, this could even definitely be someone that's living within your home, okay, in your home environment. So so this is definitely someone that is close to heart or, um, yeah, so it could be a sibling, your parents, a best friend, okay? It could definitely be someone that you're really, really close to that there may not really, I don't feel like there is a lot going on between you and this person, like in a negative way, but I just feel like you just feel that way for some reason and you think that there is tension or you feel like every time you come around this person like they're angry with you or they're upset with you about something or it, it, it could even, I just feel like you just feel like a lot of like, um, like it's a lot weighing on you because you want to say something but then you don't want to start an argument and you want to say something but you don't want to come off, you know, too aggressive. So it's like, I feel like a lot of you just been kind of just shoving those feelings to the back, you know, the back burner and just like, no, I'll deal with it at the right time, you know, because it seemed like every time you and this person did try to come around each other, it was just never the right time. And I feel like a part of you are feeling guilty because you want to say something. And I think you should, Leo. I really do. I think that, you know, this, this is going to be the season for you where you're going to be reflecting a lot on your emotions and how you feel about your close relatives or family um well relatives and family mean the same thing so close relatives or friendships or even partnerships you know like for example like maybe you're really really close with someone at your job perhaps or um within the, the office somewhere i don't know i just feel like it's somebody that you're definitely really close to okay um
And I would advise that you do talk to this person because I don't think that this person is aware that you are carrying this much on your heart. And I don't think that they know that you're hurting this much. And so I think that, you know, and again, guys, I didn't mention it, but this is a general reading, okay? So if you, even if you are Leo, you may be a sun Leo. You may have Leo as a moon sign or rising. Please check check other planets within your birth chart because then you'll have a lot more clarity about why this energy is even here to begin with okay but i do feel like there's definitely some type of disconnect and for a lot of you this could be career related issues going on and maybe it just kind of all in your head maybe this person don't even feel anything negative about you okay but for a lot of you this could be at home so this could even be with your children um, or your grandchildren, okay, this is definitely something where you need to have like an, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with, you need to have that conversation with them, and I feel like you need to let them know that you do care and that you do love them, and because I feel like uh, whoever this person is, they, I feel like they're also going through some things as well. Like, they're also going through enough where they don't really want to start anything with you either. So, it's like a a genuine love um, and respect for each other. And I think it's beautiful that you both feel that way. So, perhaps this could even be a spouse, okay? This could even be someone that you were living with or... Um, had deep relations with um, if you're married this could be with your spouse okay okay um, for a lot of you your spouse may have separated from you or perhaps were taken away from you or this could be a situation where they maybe had to leave for a little while and maybe it's like now it's just kind of taking a toll on you right so what do you do about all these different feelings right you have to have a healthy change that happens. So what that means is, Leo, that whatever goals, personal goals that you had for yourself, whether it was health goals, working out more, eating better, you know, maybe perhaps finding a better job or finding a career that really suits you, whatever it is, you know, I feel like you may have to put those things on a back burner or you may have had to do that because of the situation that kind of broke out right or a situation that may have happened that you don't really maybe you're not that aware of that may have happened and again for each and every one of you this situation is definitely playing out differently for a lot of you this is a spiritual journey for a lot of you this is a a moment where you just kind of just need to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation and you need to express to this person how you really feel um, even if the other person does not like what you have to say, I feel like it's a really, really a good thing, really, really healthy choice to discuss with them how you feel, okay? So you have to start with a healthy change. So for a lot of you, this separation is very huge um, on your cards here, okay? I feel like a lot of you don't want to separate, but there is a separation here, okay? And it may not be where... They're actually moving out the house. Maybe there's been some separation, like, again, with a lot of tension with maybe both of you are actually in the house, but maybe you guys have not been speaking, right? So this could be, again, your children. This could be um, someone very close to you, a roommate perhaps, okay? Um, but there's definitely a, a, a big, big thing here with separation, guys. There's a big thing here with separation. And who knows? I mean, a lot of people look at separation as a bad thing. Sometimes the best way to kind of collect yourself is to separate from someone special. So it may not be that this person is trying to hurt you or bring you down. And it may not even be that you're trying to hurt this person. But life happens. Circumstances happen. And sometimes... You know, we just have to roll with it, you know? And I know that you guys don't like to be surprised in that way. You prefer to, you know, someone to just be real with you and tell you exactly what's going on. But I feel like lately, you know, life has kind of been all over the place, right? And you've been trying your best, actually, to really deal with it. And 
at this moment, you know, I feel like the universe is saying, well, I'm going to separate you temporarily, if not forever, okay? But just even if it's temporarily, even if it's for six months, a year, two years, right? I'm going to separate you temporarily because we have some things over here that you have been praying about and you've been wanting to work on these personal goals. So for a lot of you, you have actually put some of your personal goals on the back burner. And this could be things that you're really passionate about you know especially with your career choices okay it could be something that you've been really really passionate about and maybe you really put it to the side because not because you just don't want to do it but because there's been a lot of indecisiveness so again when it comes to making that healthy change one of the biggest things you want to do is try your best not to be so um, conflicted with your emotions, okay? And the goddess of the moon is literally in your energy right now, um, helping you to be decisive, to have, to have clarity on what it is that you really want to do. So that way you're not over here, you're not over there, you're not over there. You know, it's like it's helping you to have a clear mind so that you can actually focus so I would really recommend that you guys really work with your crown chakra, my love, okay? Your crown chakra and your third eye chakra is going to prove to be really helpful for you in this time of need. Mm -hmm. So whatever it is that you are facing or whatever it is that you have been dealing with recently, um, just really take it as a grain of salt. Really look between the lines, you know, the the, the parts that, that really ever really get noticed, you know what I mean? Like, read between the lines, in other words, okay? Uh, there's always a blessing in the midst of a... <laughs> in the midst of a trial or tribulation, there's always a blessing, you know, and so no matter what it is that you may be going through, you may have been looking at it as a bad thing, and you may have been really hurt and really sad about it, but the universe is saying, hey, look at the blessing, it's a blessing in disguise, you know, this is the time where you can actually get back to you now. You can refocus on your goals and the things that you really love and the things that really mean a lot to you. Like, you can really now focus back on you. You know, for a lot of you that do have children, your kids are older now. You know, um, you may be deciding to go back to school. You may be deciding to start your own business. Whatever it is, go for it, you know, and go for it with confidence. Be thankful because I know that it's painful or whatever it is that you've been dealing with and it may feel like you're never going to get through that moment, but that's way far from the truth, okay? I don't feel like you guys are going to be stuck at this moment forever. I just feel, again, I sense a need for harmony. I kept hearing it, and I kept hearing Leo. So a need for harmony is very, very deep this season. Very, very deep. Okay? Refocus on you. And creating that harmony within yourself. Why am I so conflicted? Why can I ever make a good decision? Why am I so envious at times? What is causing me to feel that way? You know, why have I been so angry? Why have I been so frustrated? It's nothing wrong with giving yourself a checkout, right? A checkup. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with checking on yourself. I mean, the more you check in with you, like that inner part, like the more you focus on you, the more happier you'll be. And you will see that. So again, my recommendation is to literally begin by making some healthy changes. You may decide, you know what, I don't want to fight anymore. I'm packing my stuff. I'm just going to go to the shelter. And guess what? For most people, the shelter is not a fun place to be. But at least you'll have your sanity and your peace of mind. At least you and your children will be safe. And you'll have food on the table. You'll be okay, right? Or if this is a spouse thing, right? You can separate to kind of clear your head and make up your mind as if you really want to spend your life with this person for the rest of your life, you know? So allow the universe to take its course. And again, it may be uncomfortable for a while, but I I promise you there is a blessing in disguise you may meet someone new who literally sweeps you off your feet and make things everything just brand new for you and really brighten up your day you may find a home that's 10 times better than where you live right now 
okay? Your children may grow up to, you know, really be able to have a better relationship with you. So there's always a reason why things happen. And again, sometimes we just have to roll with it, okay? So Leo, I do love you. And I really hope hope that this situation for a lot of you, if, if this situation is at home, I would try to burn some sage or try to do some ritual practices or take some ritual spiritual ritual baths, okay? I would try to pray more maybe, maybe meditate a bit more, um, burn some candles. Candles always do the job for me, right? So I love candles, okay? And yellow ones to be more precise because yellow represents the sun and that is you. It is fresh, the beginning. It makes you happy, right? And so... T try to wear some yellow maybe to brighten up your spirit but do do little things in that way to start you know you can make small changes leo don't have to always be big okay so i love you please like share and subscribe to my channel please share this message around the world because everyone deserves a chance to hear g1 writing with g1 insights i love you have a good week wherever you are in this beautiful universe